Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist. Today we're painting a beautiful old-fashioned barn in the snow out in the country and I just love it. This is one of my most favorite barn paintings. Um, so we'll be giving you a traceable with this and step-by-step -step instruction but you can see that it has lots of beautiful details with the white lights, the Christmas tree, the wreath, and some winter trees. So we're going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and switch camera views here and then you can see how we'll be painting on this step by step so this is how easy the traceable makes it for you all right so here we go switching camera views now to give you a much better look awesome all right so we have all of our supplies out these do come with your paint kit so we do all that for you to make it very easy and then this is what it looks like when you've got your transfer already on your canvas and I've worked ahead a little bit. I do have a separate tutorial for this. So that's on our YouTube channel. And if you need a link, just ask me a question. I'll get it for you. All right, so here we go. I've got my water, paint, brushes nearby, my family of brushes. I call this mama, I call this little buddy, and I call this little bit. All right, I'm going to put these off to the side. We are going to go ahead and start with our background first. So this original painting that I did here, this is just a watercolor. This time I'm working with acrylics. And I want a soft gray to begin with. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Mama brush. And the Mama brush is moist, so you can add a little bit of water, then just go ahead and dry it off. I'm going to pick up a nice big dollop of the titanium white. Super tiny little corner touch of the black. See how tiny that is? We're going to mix that in. Really light, light gray. Now we're going to add some water to it to almost give it that watercolor feel. And we're just going to wash this into the background. And see my work that I did with the permanent marker will bleed through, which is lovely and very helpful for beginners. Push that back so that shadow doesn't interfere. And actually, this top part of the barn in the snow, I can just work in, do a little bit of an overpaint. Let's grab some more white. I'll sweep that back and forth. Let's grab more white there. Whoa! <laughs> that's, <laughs> boy, that's a lot of snow. Let's pick that back up, put that over there. And I'm going to go ahead and paint onto the rooftop. Let's get a nice amount of that white on there. dealing with right now I did a little bit of an overpaint over that red part of the barn did not want that to happen so I'm just picking that up now we're going to go back into the snow underneath here and the snow there
All right, so we've got a nice light wash over all of it. We're going to rinse out. And as it dries, it should definitely bleed through, but if you are concerned about not being able to see your work, remember you can take a little bit more water and kind of apply more heavy pressure, make it a bit more transparent over the top. I'm going to show you what that looks like over here. So I have a heavier amount of paint over here. So add more water. Heavy pressure. See how that's coming back through now. Yeah, we can see it now. Just kind of feathering those brush strokes back out. Take a little bit of that paper towel. I'm just going to kind of lightly dab into that. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do the red bond next. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse out with my mama brush. Dry off. We're going to use some of this cadmium red here. And you can cool off cadmium red if necessary, depending on what kind of paint you're using, you can cool it off with some primary magenta because that's a little bit more warm over here. But I've got it cooled off here. And then we're going to go into the barn. And we'll come back over the wreath in just a few minutes when I'm done with the barn. So I'm going to go ahead and do an overpaint there. This is the Mama brush and some red paint here. And I'm coming back here with a few more strokes over the top, holding it more over to the side, parallel to the canvas. This will give you a more gentle hand, allows a lot more of that paint to rest on the surface, so it gives you more opaque finish. Then rinse out. All right, now we're going to use our little buddy brush and some of that green. Let's do a little mixing though. We want the green, dollop of that, a little dollop of the white, tiny little corner touch into the black. We're going to mix all that together. That little bit of black will push it to more of like a pine green. And we're going to start to work on our little tree here. I'm going to pull down from the top, holding it more like a pencil, letting that line edge do the work. I think I'm switch gears here and do my mama. Pretty big. 
that off. Again, big dot with the green, big dot with the white, little corner touch with the black. And that's going to work into all of this shape and get a nice amount of coverage. And then we'll work on a little bit more of that fine tuning of the, te of the uh, texture over the top. I'm just starting with good coverage, a nice base coat of paint over the top. Now with that coverage, I go in with a little bit now, and let's do a darker black in with that green. Little twirl now, and then we're going to start to just work right over the top. Just tiny little strokes down and a little bit of a curve out. Alright, really pretty. Now let's go ahead and do our little wreath here. So using a little bit brush, I'm going to do real light little taps over the top. Pick up a little bit more of that bright green too. Have a lot of fun with that texture. Allow a lot of that paint to just rest right on the surface. You want to have a real gentle hand. Just kind of barely tap over the top. That is lovely. Now let's go ahead and rinse out. Right, now we're going to go ahead and work into some, we'll have some brown nearby if you have to mix brown. Remember brown is a mix of orange, cadmium orange, and Mars black. You can mix brown with equal parts there, or you can just have brown. And so we're going to have brown, we're going to have a little bit of dark charcoal nearby, and the charcoal mix is going to be white and black. Titanium white, Mars black. And then also I'm going to grab a little bit of that brown here. And mix the brown with the charcoal. And I'm going to go ahead and do a light little wash right in through here with a little bit brush. And now black pure black to line that out. Do a darker black on this side. And then more of that lighter brown with the charcoal in there. And then I'm going to grab a little bit more of this charcoal color. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit with more white. And we've got some shadows we're going to work in. So I'm going to go ahead and you see the line there from your trace. So I'll kind of work that shadow in. Grabbed a little bit of water there just to help it flow with greater ease on the canvas. And 
this a little shadow there. We have a much lighter shadow, so a lot more white. I'm going to outline it here a little bit. I'm going to follow that line that we had with the dark charcoal. We have a little line here. We're just going to kind of go across there. And a little bit of white into that. Light over paint over the top. This is that dark charcoal again. I'll drag it across here too underneath the barn. And then we're going to work in a few little shadows down here, too. I can do a little bit of soft white into this, help blend it back in. Little bit brush and just pure white paint. And just a little bit of an overpaint into that dark charcoal with the white.
All right, I'm going to work on my roof line a little bit now with more of the brown and the charcoal here. And we're going to go ahead and work into this little section and darken this up. Maybe grab a little bit of black in there too. A little bit more black and the brown and the charcoal. A little light over the top here of this little open door. I have a little door here, so I'm going to work that in just a tie in with square. go ahead and do some trees. I'm going to work in this, we've got this brown, we've got the charcoal gray, and you can do a little touch of black here and there too, but I'm going to go ahead and go over this, this little bit brush. light hand as we get away from the tree we'll lift up on our pressure and lift off with a light hand so again more pressure in the thicker part of the tree and press down let those bristles really spread out the paint but as you get away from the tree and you want a thin branch you're gonna lift up on your pressure and then lift up and then lift off with a light hand A lot less pressure to make it very thin and to taper it. And we've got a few little tiny, we make sure I really twist out the head of the brush to a nice fine point. So we're going to make some very delicate little trees that are off in the distance. You just want to barely touch the canvas. Very, very light hand. Just barely, barely touch the canvas. And then lift off with a light hand. And we have a lot of water in this mix too. That way it's very light in the background. 
I'm coming back in with more of that charcoal and brown. Make this a little bit heavier. Give me a little bit of a twist as I go off and out. And then a little bit of a tree down here, just kind of barely, a little thicker at the base. Light little branches that go up and out. Just went back in here with a little bit more of that white over the top to softly blend in. Okay. Now we're going to do some of those really pretty white lights. So, there's just a little hint. You can do them with just white or you can add just a hint of yellow to those as well. So I'm going to do a little mix here with the white, Let's see, I'll put that, a little bit of primary yellow with that. Mix those two together. And we're gonna take the end of the handle, we're gonna dip into that mix. And we're going to just dot it out. Gives it a nice little glow. That's so much easier than you thought it was going to be. It's a brilliant little trick there. And when we use the end of the handle, it, of course, it's very uniform. It's the same size every time, which is wonderful. And we'll just follow our little lines. And we can do the same thing. We'll do a little bit more of a mix. We have more yellow, more white. We do the same thing here across the tree. So there's a slight curve. And then we'll just go down.
All right, very cute. I'm gonna go back in with the other side and grab a little bit of this brown and black and charcoal. Look in that little window. And then I'm gonna do a few more of those little dots on the reed. So kind of looking around, making sure I've got all the details in. Got our trees. Oh, we've got some snow plat uh, snow splatter there. Um, let's see. I'm gonna use a bit of white. Dip into that water. A little tap here. Well, that was a lot more than what I wanted. That was a big amount of snow. <laughs> I don't like, I don't think I like that. Hold on. Actually, hold on a second. I'm gonna go a little bit more white. Do another little trick here. I can run my fingernail on the edge here. I'm gonna make it splatter that way. And if you're a little concerned about how big the splatters are, because it's based on what you've just seen here today, which would be wise, I would maybe start to splatter somewhere else where it's not as crucial. And then you'll get into a groove of where all the consistency is about the same and more of a fine mist. And then you can move it back over to your painting. And then that way I'll give you a little bit of confidence when you go to splatter over the top here. And just a little bit of fine mist here over the top. Yeah, nice. Okay. A little bit messy, but fun and worth it. All right, now we're going to use our little bit brush. We're going to do our signature. So I want a little touch of water. We're going to make sure we've got our paint nice and then do a little twirl here into the paint, get a nice fine point. And then I will just sign. You can also sign with your permanent marker that comes with the kit too. Very pretty. I love it. There's our old-fashioned Christmas barn. It's beautiful. All right. Well, we've had so much fun painting with you all today. It is always a pleasure. And we have all the supplies that you need with this painting kit at tipsyartist.com. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Happy to help. Just leave it in the comments, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. So, again, thank you so much. Have a very wonderful day and a very Merry Christmas. And much love to y'all, and we'll talk to you soon, and see you soon. Love y'all. Toodles.